I am I am in love right now. I am absolutely in love right now. That's a badass. You're on the edge here with Team Badge Company. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And oh, I got it. Yeah, let's let it go. Oh my goodness. And we're ready to travel the world again and not look back. Okay, cool. Here we go, right now. Day one, Lake Five. We are uh, all pretty amped up right now after a 41 day break. We're just all talking that, trying to find the rhythm of, of the world tour traveling and taking care of business at home. Probably 20 days to 25 days is the right sort of break. We were going hard <laughs> sometimes with only 14 days of break. So just trying to pace ourselves a, a little bit. Brazil was just completely mysterious and and uh, we really uh, made some lifetime memories in, in Brazil. But here we are, we're in Africa, uh, Cape Verde, off the coast of the mainland. This area is known as Jurassic Park, so hopefully that lives up to its uh, name. We have 13 days, weather permitting. Lake 5 is very exotic, we'll get back at you.
action packed day, huh? Eating everything we had in the water pretty much. Good sonar fishing, got a giant one. What did we get? We, we had seven. Seven eight, for eight. Seven for eight. One was over 800. Uh, another one we had almost 500. Pulled the hook on that one right at the boat. So we had our best day since the world tour started. Pretty cool. Hey y'all, so we're going to talk about our pitch baits today. We caught these beautiful big eye tunas off of fat a few days ago. We've been brining them up, keeping them cold. Those are our big, big pitch baits. Little pitch baits, we're using flying fish. Smaller, smaller marlin come up, we're pitching those. So basically with the pitch, any fish that comes up on our teaser, Steve's going to wind that teaser away from them and Anthony's going to come back and pitch those those baits back depending on what size it is. So larger size fish we're pitching that big eye tuna, smaller fish we're pitching that flying fish and uh, hopefully get them to switch over and get a good bite. This is our pitch rod right here, our large pitch rod, a Pen 70. We're using 530 liter on this. Small pitch rod, we got a Talica 50. That's the one that we rig our flying fish on. So, waiting for those to come up on the teaser. Everything else, we're running four hooks out in the back. Long corner, short corner, long rigger, short rigger. Um, hopefully they come up on the teasers because it's a pretty fun bite.
maybe almost a quad. But uh, that was that was something else. Came for a day fishing. little bit different than most of the places that we've been fishing here there's little tiny leaves but the most for the most part the winds blowing pretty pretty hard the bulk of the time you know it's right now it's about as calm as it gets it's 10 12 knots gets up to around 20 25 through the course of the day sometimes it'll gust about 30 constantly changing directions and uh, the currents seem to switch quite a bit around here too you'll set up to get on a particular piece of structure like a ledge or something like that with the current pushing up onto it but um, very target rich environment we've been having a lot of success i think we're up to 21 or 22 fish or something like that for nine days probably out of 40 opportunities maybe 35 40 opportunities so uh pretty fun pretty stinking fun It's only seven o'clock, and we just had a nice uh, 700 pounds plus one on, got in the chair, and uh, pulled the hook. So that's, that's fishing. Well, we got two more days here. Uh, the last couple of days have been a little bit more crafty than at other times. Our hookup ratio hasn't been the best. I think we're like three for eight, and saw two more that didn't bite. 
Yeah, I know. You can see this beautiful backdrop here. A couple giant volcanoes. This is the rim of one here and another one over to the left up in there. The furthest we're going to go today is probably about five miles. A few bigger fish caught out here yesterday and we got high hopes. What happened today? The start of our last day here and trip one of Cape Verde. Beautiful morning. We are uh, gonna end up back in Modelo, Mindelo. Having a Modelo. <laughs> Having a Modelo in Mindelo. We are uh, heading heading across the pond here to go searching, and uh, yeah, we're hopeful. Always hopeful, always searching. You can see a fad right there. That's the second fad we found on this trip. One of the things that we love to do that we actually interrupt the standard programming of blue marlin fishing to do this. We haul in the for us to get a wahoo on. Oh man, this is 